Alright y'all, welcome back. Blackwell Epiphany. I am pretty sure we are uh, playing as... I don't know who we are. Jocelyn and Madeline. Hey, Madeline? Yes, my host. <laughs> Could call you me stop that. calling me that? Stop calling you what, my host? That. I'm no host. I am sorry, my host. That is what you are. Just think, I could have been dancing at the supper club tonight. The if those club. contortions could be referred to as dancing, then you are correct. I'm not gonna apologize, you know. For what? Trying to transfer our link to that Joe Gould fellow? Like I said, I ain't gonna apologize. I didn't ask for this. Neither did I, my host. Neither did I. You're not mad. After centuries of this existence, I have learned to put my personal feelings aside. Yeah, well, I ain't got centuries. She tried to pass it to Joe Gould. Well, okay. see ya. Certainly, my host. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. It's boarded up. No getting through there. Can we wipe it off? Won't budge. Alright, let's have Madeline go through the door. If you could just wait here, my host. Uh-huh. It's not like I got anything else to do. Hello. Oh. Is anyone about? I am a friend. Nobody's there? Can we go? Zeus is playing tonight. If we hurry, we can catch him. Patience, my host. I sense a lost spirit here. We cannot leave our duty unfinished. It appears to be a coat of some kind. Jacket. It has been a long time since I have seen my reflection. Hmm. So garish. Some clothing items. What's the notice? Oh, the notice reads, please ring bell for service. I believe these were caused by a pistol. A lot of them. I believe these... It is a simple bell. I am incorporeal and unable to ring the bell. A quiet night, despite the rain. Can we just go back here? The room contains a few machines and piles of cloth. There is nothing else worth reporting. Why are we having so much trouble getting in fucking doors? Look at that. This place is falling apart. I guess we throw it through the window. My host? My host. Sorry, you say something? Certainly <laughs> nothing that matters any longer. They really don't like each other. Better not. If bread. anybody comes in here, I don't want that thing in my hands. I have no idea how that got there, and nobody can prove otherwise. You crazy? I ain't picking up broken glass. Even if I did crazy? put it there. What do I need that thing for? I don't know what you need for. Look at it. It says to ring the bell if I need help. Jeez, what happened here? Ding. Danny? Danny, someone's out front. Danny, where the hell are you? Joey. Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be out. What can I do for you? Madeline met Joey before. Oh, this is a nice How perspective long are you of the stare house. At that thing? I like it's getting this. dark. Just one more. It has to be here. What are you doing anyway? A man was murdered last night in the middle of a major blizzard. Believe me, I remember. Right. So how come nobody else has? Eh? I've been checking on every local news website all day. There's not a single mention of it. 
I called the police myself. We know they know about it. They must have suppressed the news, but why? I'm sure the cops got their reasons, and they can keep them. I don't care who plugged the guy. I only care about what happened after. I know. So, the victim didn't have any identification on him. I was hoping a news report would give us his name, but it looks like we're on our own. Well, something familiar at least. Let's go talk to our pet cop. Maybe he knows something. All right, we're going to the police station. We're gonna look around. It's a good Griff. Auntie Lauren gave that bear to me when I was a kid. His name is Griff, the PI bear. Although he's more the geriatric bear these days. Sometimes I think about taking Griff down, but he's so old these days, I'll just leave him. I can't go to bed yet. I have a full day ahead of me. Or We've never rather, seen a full better. night, but still. There's nothing in there. I go through much less paper since I gave up writing. I miss it sometimes, but I just can't seem to find the time anymore. Some articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I hated working there and the paper's been dead for years, but for some reason I can't take them down. Hmm. I bought that clock at a tag sale years ago. It doesn't work, but for some reason I can't get rid of it. I stopped updating this calendar around the time Joey came into my life. There's probably a connection there. No, we moved the pictures. The last article I ever wrote, and the first ghost I ever saved. Joanna Sherman was 18 years old, freshman studying political science at NYU. New. Suddenly, her sudden suicide this morning has many school authorities asking why. So we decided to friends around her. So it's a total surprise. My parents' wedding. It's the only picture I have of them. They look so young. Because they were. The fucking Joey. Auntie Lauren and me. This was just before all the troubles began. Books on boat maintenance and navigation. I'm not making that mistake again. Books on notable New Yorkers, all deceased. Never hurts to be prepared. We got all kinds of pictures now. Grandmother Patricia, my dad, and Auntie Lauren. I never met my grandmother. I don't think she was ever prepared for, well, this. This article is about the Meltzer Foundation. I suppose they did some good in the end, but the death toll was too high. Reuters reports that the Meltzer Foundation has closed its door. The foundation was only recently the talk of the PC circuit with their uncanny ability to pick winner after winner. It appeared they had the Midas touch to their efforts. They launched several careers in arts, film, and science, science fields. The reason behind the closure remains a mystery, and he, and he has neither Paul Meltzer nor his co-founder and brother Charles could be reached for comment. It's a picture of me and a former co-worker of mine. Jeremy was a friend, kind of. I never did get to know him well. Not when he was alive, anyway. Look at us, we don't even want to be there. This man's name is Danny Marconi. I only met him briefly as a very old man. For months, I expected the police to come breaking down my door, but it's been a year and nothing. Midtown double homicide still unsolved. It was what was noted philanthropist and charity worker Gavin Gavin Tor doing at the home of Liza Tenzin, noted psychic and con woman? This is the question police have been asking themselves ever since. They were both found dead inside the Tenzin home six months ago. Police investigations are still continuing. Would they ask anyone for their information? Please contact a Midtown South Precinct. There's no point in taking the poster around with me. It's a poster for the film Water Under the Bridge. It starred Frank Lyons. The seagull statue used to belong to Lisa Tenzin. Like a cigarette. These were Auntie Lauren's favorite brand. I don't remember much from back then, but the smell reminds me of her. It's a Gold Tech mug. I have plenty of mugs in the kitchen if I really need one. I snuck this bottle out of a hospital room for a college kid named Susan Lee. We saw this in a flea market, and Joey bugged me until I bought it. He still won't tell me why. There's no point. I can never find the right size tapes for it. These art tools himself. belong to Claude Erden. Everyone thinks he killed himself, but at least I know otherwise. My old notepad. I went through dozens of these before I upgraded to this phone. Yeah, I think that's about everything. 
Let's go see Durkin. Thank God the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. Detective? Uh-huh. You found right. a Jane Doe at the Karth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Can we talk inside? inside? It's freezing, freezing out here. Can't smoke inside. Thanks to our friend, the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this? It was what right makes in this murder more important than any other? He was looking for me. I'm a suspect. He was killed right in front of me. You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... What? Get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. He was killed right in front of me. And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? No, just trust You've me. trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know, but I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases, and once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case? It goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? I can't tell you. I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder. More horrible than just a killing. Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah. I get you. Detective? Uh-huh. Anything else? Could you tell me the victim's name at least? I told you. No. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. Why don't you send Joey inside and see if maybe he can't read something? Keep our friend busy. I'm gonna sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? At the bottom are the words, Alex Silva, Commissioner. Oh, um, it says authorized uh, personnel only beyond this work. point. Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. Mm -hmm. The brickwork. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. Sure. When was this building built? In 1950? I got no idea. Low -rise a modern building. gizmo. Very Probably some kind of phone. Way. It usually is. That's a fucking printer, dumbass. That looks like the guy. Aha! There's our guy. 
His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. That's definitely... According to this note, is. So we got his address. According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. According to the nameplate, I have no idea who that... The name on this name... I have no idea who that could... It says Piero. I have no idea who that... According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Piero. I have no idea who that could be. That sounds familiar. Maybe from... Could be from the unavowed. Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. We're going to freaking stick our head in the desks. Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. I'm not going to investigate. I don't even know who this Pierre. I'm not going to investigate every desk I see. I don't even know who this Disher person is. Detective? Uh huh. I know the victim's name is George Austin. And <laughs> we're just saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, this crap doesn't impress me anymore. And even if it did, you're not a cop. You're not even officially on the books. So? Make it unofficial. You've done it before. Not this time, sorry. With all due respect, you need to back off. Well, not gonna happen. see you around. Uh huh. Because we got this George is Austin's some entrance. lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. He's watching my every move. Let's talk to him then. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Well, what are you sorry, man? Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry. Nobody named Grace lives here. Okay. Miss, I'm sorry, but you can't go back there. Residence only. Oh, sorry. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. Alright, they went all in on the uh, switching characters. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. 12A. All right. But well, we know where it's It exactly. says, it's signed. Yep, it's an elevator, all right. Looks like it's full of old clothes. Can we bring up the tour drive? The Hi. Drive? Yes, miss. I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. Ooh. You said that George takes the clothes to Grace. Right? Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. All right, Grace Church. We know about Why that? did George go to Grace Church instead of a local one? I couldn't say. Sorry. Okay, well... Let's go check out the uh, Grace Church.
<laughs> a church of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Weekend Organ Meditations. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. Okay. It says Grace Church. Of course, we knew that already. It leads into the church. It's a schedule of services. Nothing is going on at the moment. It leads into the church. It's going in. It's a book full of handwritten prayers. This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. Please God, let the chemo work. I don't know what we'll do without her. I have been six months without a drink. Please help me last another six. Let my uncle get exactly what he deserves. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. If you're out there, please help. Please help my family go through this horrible time. We've already been through so much. Is suicide the only answer? I don't really want to die. Let me find another way. Oh, I miss my son. I won't always be happy, as happy as this. These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. If any, I need to... Hi, could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. Okay. Could you tell me book? about that book over there? For some, silent prayer isn't enough. They want to write it down and make it real. That is what that book is for. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. The tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. What does that mean? Do you know a man named George Austin? I'm afraid not. He was a member of this church. Are you sure? It is quite a large church, as you can see. I'm afraid I am not familiar with George Austin. Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking to join? Um, not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. George Austin was holding a clothing drive that brought clothes to this church. Are you sure you haven't heard of him? Yes, we deal with hundreds of clothing drives at this time of year. Some we arrange ourselves, while most are volunteers. Hmm. It is not possible to keep track of every single one. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. I don't know much about church organs, but it seems nice enough. Can we play it? Uh, I better not, especially with that priest in plain view. Mm, well, that's no fun. These go to the same place? They do. So what did they say we needed to find? I kind of skipped through it. If any of these handwritten prayers are useful, flipping through blindly isn't the answer. I need to narrow it down somehow. Got any handwriting? No. Did we already search George Austin? I don't think we did. The Grace George was referring to has to be Grace Church. There's no answer. Didn't even ring. Hi.
Hi. Yes, miss? Is there any way I... It's really... Sorry. Unless you... Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have... Better not. If you did that... Do you know where... I really... Why did George go to... I couldn't... Are you sure you... No. We can't talk about... We got a match it says, to the handwriting. It's signed by George. It says it's. Can we blow it off the wall? Whatever Joey did, the doorman doesn't seem to have noticed. Um, dropped my pen. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> and we'll compare if the, the handwriting. people who go to these churches worry about their souls so much, they should try dying sometime. What does that mean, Joey? With this sample of George's handwriting, I might be able to find something written by him. Gotcha. This always, this place always brought me and Leah's solace. Despite everything, it still does. Is this really what I must do? It seems impossible. I am finding my, I am finding my faith is shaken to its very core. Please help me find the strength to fight this battle. If not for me, then for Leah and the others. I don't need to turn to any other page. I don't need to turn to any other page. I don't need to turn. To Um, hi again. Yes. Do you know a woman named Leah? I think she was a member of this church. Even if she was, I'm afraid the name eludes me. I'm sorry. Well, thanks. Stay. I mean, yeah. Is it his wife, maybe? George wrote Leah's name down in a prayer. Whatever kind of relationship they have, he must care for her a lot. Leah's name was mentioned in George's prayer at Grace Church. Was she a member? Uh, let's go ask the doorman about Leah then, I guess. Hi. Yes, miss? Did George know anyone named Leah? Leah? You mean the police officer? Police officer? Yeah. Haven't seen her around for a while, though. Did they break up or something? I have no idea. Too bad, if so. I liked her. She was good for George. You said Leah was good for George. Could you tell me why? Uh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have said any of that. You're not a cop or anything yourself, are you? Well... No, you're not. You would have shown me your badge if yeah, you were. Forget that's it. True. Sorry. All right. Let's go talk to Durkin. Detective? Uh-huh. So... George Austin was involved with a police officer named Leah. That's it, isn't it? All the secrecy. It's because the police are involved. You want to get us both in trouble? Of course not. I want to help you. Look what I discovered already. Look, I keep my distance from you for a reason. I know you got your sources. I don't know who they are, but you have a way. That goes without saying. Leah Piero was, is, a fire Piero, detective. Okay. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Maybe you can help, maybe you can't. But I know you're gonna stick your nose in no matter what I say. I am. Sorry, but I have to. Yeah, I get that. I can't stop you, but I can't help you either. You're on your own. 
Believe me, Detective. If there's anything I'm not, it's on my own. Well, just be careful. About George Austin. How many times do I... Sorry. You just said you were going to tell Have me. Have you ever been to Grace Ch Church? No, I haven't. Why? No reason. Forget it. Can you tell me anything about Officer Piero? I told you. I can't... Well, he said see you he around. Uh -huh. we, nothing we said was going to stop us, so I figured out meant he was going to help us. Let's go check out her desk. Pretty cold to be just standing around. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Isn't that what you're doing? This folder seems to be full of old expense reports. Too many to go through even if I could open it. The journal is labeled Midtown Jaywalking Citations 2001 to 2004. Oh, Interesting wow. Interesting light reading. Hey, we got our address. I assume it's a telephone, although it's hard to tell these days. Hmm, cute kid. It's one of those computer things. Looks like it's powered down. All right, well, we just needed the address, so. Hey, I don't know where you're going, and I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. Us? Yeah. Come on. It's a long way to Astoria. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. All right, guys, drop a like if you haven't already. Drop a sub if you're new. We're getting on out of here. I'm out!